Good afternoon, I'm Rob Hughes. The Kansas Supreme Court will hear arguments tomorrow on Governor Laura Kelly's lawsuit against legislative leaders who overturn her order banning religious services of more than 10 people. She's accusing those GOP leaders of jeopardizing the health and safety of Kansans, adding that this is not a normal political disagreement. We do not have time to play political games during a pandemic. I'm confident that the Supreme Court will take up this matter and adjudicate it quickly. My top priority as governor, especially during a crisis, is to ensure the health and safety of every Kansan. Kansas Senate President Susan Wagle responded by saying it is not good policy to endorse an order that the Attorney General warns infringes on our constitutional rights. Many churches and synagogues have already suspended services this week. And we are working to get an update on a disturbance at the Kansas State Prison in Lansing where 14 staff members and 12 inmates have tested positive for COVID-19. Some 20 to 30 inmates started damaging property Thursday afternoon in cell block C. As of last night, the inmates were out of their cells but contained. A state spokesman says all prison staffers got out safely. All inmates are being watched. Guards set up a perimeter to staff all exits. Meanwhile, the ACLU wants the Kansas Supreme Court to get a group of inmates out of prison because they may be vulnerable to COVID-19. The group filed a class action petition on behalf of seven prisoners at three Kansas prisons, including the one in Lansing. ACLU wants an expedited hearing to try to get those inmates out. Lawyers argue the inmates are vulnerable to the virus because of pre-existing conditions. The Kansas Department of Corrections is not commenting on the filing. We do have answers to many of your COVID-19 questions at KMBC.com. Make sure you click on the coronavirus tab. Also stay with us for the very latest information starting on KMBC 9 News at 4. Have a wonderful weekend.